my name is Amanda Goldsmith, and I'm the Spotted Lanternfly Technician at the Lancaster County Conservation District. Today I will be showing you how to set up some sticky tape on your trees in order to manage and control spotted lanternfly. And we'll, we will be using two of our best management practices to help with bycatch of wildlife such as bats and birds. The spotted lanternfly is an invasive insect that threatens our agricultural economy, especially our great vineyards. As well, it's a nuisance pest in our backyard. So let's get banding. And these are all the items that you will need in order to set up your trap. You'll need some DBH tape or fabric or string that'll be used to measure the circumference of the tree, some thumbtacks to secure the bottom of the tape so nymphs can't get underneath, some actual sticky tape or fly tape or any other variant of that such as duct tape that you can purchase at a hardware store, chicken wire, wire mesh, caged wire, anything you can use to protect the tape, and finally some tin snips or wire snips that can be used to cut the chicken wire. When putting up the tape, the first thing you want to do is use DBH tape, fabric, string, whatever you have around the house to measure the circumference of the tree. This will help you determine how much tape you need so you're not ripping up more and getting tape all over yourself. When you're cutting up the tape, you only want it to be about two to three inches wide in order to protect against wildlife. This reduces the surface area for birds and bats to get stuck onto the tape. My finger is about two to three inches long, so I use that as a guide to measure out the tape. I just rip it along the whole way. It doesn't have to be perfectly even. Spotted lantern flies are going to get stuck anyway. Once you have your tape measured out, attach it to the tree and secure the bottom with push pins, or you can also use staples or anything else you can find around the house. You don't want them to be able to get under the cracks. Once you have your tape set up, you can measure out your chicken wire. I already have it measured out. I normally do about an inch or two longer than the tape to give some wiggle room for the birds and bats. If it's too big, then the birds and bats can get underneath the wire, but if it's too tight, then they can't use the wire to help grip and get themselves off. Once I have it attached to the tr tree, I puff it out a little bit at the sides, and then I use a push pin to just secure the wire so it doesn't move anywhere. And with that, you have a complete trap. If you have any additional questions or need help managing the spotted lantern fly, I highly recommend contacting the local Penn State Extension office or going to their website. They have some incredible management guides, pesticide guides, and the new circle trap you can try out. And as well, I recommend reporting online using the Penn State Extension tool. And as well, I'm also an additional resource to the county at the Lancaster County Conservation District. Thank you.